what... what this is going to do for Jin Air. And they took the more risky of the counter picks available. If the shoe was on the other foot, it would have been Lucian. Coming yeah. through from Kuzan. Lucian available, and they go the Zed. That can certainly just warp right, this. You can see Jin Air there moving on up, and he has oh. shots of left two members here. Oh my goodness, all five. Nova thinking about the face check. Does land the tongue lash, so catch. They know where he is. Vision is given. But now they're getting routed. Um, Kuzan we wants to try and get in there. Jisoo comes forward. He's going to eat one of his corrupting potion charges. His catch. Ah, uh, that's not your turret. And that's first blood going over to Nova. This is called Hell in a Handbasket, Pub Smithy. And uh, this is a really bad time. And it's just hell. So it's sort of comp where Corky should find lots of inroads in the mid lane. Yep, Grace going to get knocked up. Does use the flash. Kuzan immediately flashes after he and makes it into the brush. Sees. Comes on forward, gets the movement speed, like you say, from the Rift Scuttler. Catch oh. comes forward, oh. sees, oh. grabs one, flashes. It's one kill for Kuzan, but the Death Defy is in there, and that saves Grace's life. One for one. Oh, and that's annoying. That is. Hook is going to land there as Nova. Actually thinks that this is a time to engage. Seize is making his way down. Ganking the Carthus. Wall of Pain gank is going to come in. Light's going to flash very early. Uh. Doing some work there as well as Guga getting chased out of his own jungle by a Carthus, which is just ridiculous. He loves right. Skittles on the side of the Thresh. Light One comes more. on forward. He's going to need it as Nova. He flashes on in. He has the damn... Oh, this is just ridiculous. Fruit flashes forward. Light grabs one of the kills. The Wall of Pain not going to find the slow. The Death Defy comes forward. It's good knock up there from Catch as Root is trying to do what he can, but the Smite will keep Catch uh, very much alive here underneath his inner turret. Remember, guys, this whole while, Jinx has been denied about two bit minion waves. I didn't watch Expendables 2, but I feel like I'm getting it now, Atlas. That's exactly right, and Root is certainly in that line of fire. He's trying to do damage to catch, but Kuzan's here. He's still got that red buff like we were talking about before. His Corky is real strong. Two and zero now. As well as the ninja target for some extra movement speed and damage reduction. Not often Seize comes you on over. Drake and... next to Tom Cantavaris, but here we go. Yeah, Flame Chompers are down, but the ultimate lands there from Light. Trying to do what he can. Kuzan dives forward with the package. He's flashing. He's trying to get on top. His Grace gets one kill, but it's a double for the Jarvan. Requiem does basically nothing there as Kuzan's able to get out behind enemy lines. Nova's hunting him down. Grace there as well. I have a feeling that the Corky's not going to get out of this one. Does get in there, but there's the ult. Grace will be able to get rid of Kuzan eventually. It was an odd use of his spells, but eventually all of Drake the pile does go the way I believe of ES Trucks. It might have even released, who knows? The Drake wasn't the point by the end. Opting into a fight with these lane assignments, particularly Barris Tom Kent, was a very curious decision, but the Forky gets there so much earlier that at the start of this fight, it's a trade of kills, both mid laners pick up a kill. The Requiem looks like it doesn't do a lot, but it actually gets you on two slivers of health. Yeah. One gets away, the other one. He will be able to threaten in a side lane, and that is going to ruin what Jin Air want to be doing. As Linderon gonna get flashed on, Slicing Maelstrom comes in, Cannon Barrage not going to be enough. That was so close. To a look at his opponents. Do notice that Noni exhausts on Kuzan. Well, Light does take the Dark Passage. The flash in. It is going to be the death mark that locks down the kill with the help of the piercing arrow. And he's right back to safety, is Grace. He found a secondary LeBlanc. And they used a lot to get one kill. It's definite super overkill between the two. There was no exhaust between the duo. Top side. Yeah, going to try and make it a one for one here as Linderong's trying to get these autos in there. Okay, he's doing all right. Bilgewater Cutlass is finally used onto catch, oh. and that means that he has to get out. 
Lightning Rush is there. Is the... well, let's hold the point then. Well, we're going to watch a Cannon Barrage on the bottom side. Nova does get the Gobble up onto the Varus and will spit him out. And goes aggressive as well as Catch going to get ulted. Light in trouble now as Seize does eventually kill okay. him. It's one more Skittle to be eaten. Catch flashes out of the way of it as Guga into his stopwatch. Grace underneath the turret gets himself immediately back out again as the big one almost kills him on the back end. Dark okay. Passages. Jisoo, not a lot of answers there available. Shurikens don't land onto Kuzan. And the Corky moves on up. They're looking for Root. Cataclysm comes in as Nova does have the Devourer in place. Catch in trouble, but he has himself the stopwatch. And the Cannon Barrage finishes off the Zed. Now the Jinx gets excited as Light. He's taking Lay Waste, but the last one doesn't land. The Requiem, is it going to be enough to kill? It is! With no threat no. and teleported. So back. he was... If you watch Jisoo, he's actually just camping, throws down the ult, and never reveals himself. So he's in the bunch. I don't know why he teleported afterwards. In the end, he's present in this fight next to the Cannon Barrage. Cannon is not. They get a lot of chase kills as Summoner was down on the Vast. Why he was so overextended. The back is stopped onto the Ah, GP. by the Requiem. Got uh, some barrels in the brush. Kuzan gets on in, the hook is going to land, Go delivers Guga into the back line. The package going to be utilized as Seas, taking a lot of damage. Hopefully he doesn't die as Grace gets exhausted. The Requiem comes through, Kuzan, is he going to survive? The answer is yes, but Light, not so lucky. And Jinnah, I thought that they'd be... They're going to be real. Hey, I think the last time we saw him play, though, he got like four all games. So I think it's feeling much better than that. So a lot of abilities are used here, but the time catch value is immense. Seas doesn't die. And then it's Squishy's running away from on-hit cannon autos, from Varus autos, from Zed. The stasises are starting to run out, I mean, <laughs> for a thousand words about this. Yeah, you can trade that one in. It's Linderon trying to get the autos in, but Jisoo too much damage. The Requiem going to come out. Is he going to die? Yes, he is. Uh, he put ships in the night, but I have a big vision of that. Devil Grace. He's mid lane. Let's okay. dead. Yeah. I'm actually feeling a lot of rage. <laughs> How could you not press it? Maybe you just maybe you thought that it was more of Malmortius. Because that's what it should have been. Is the ultimate not going to land on a Kuzan, but Grace does have his. Exhaust comes out. Deathmark not enough to kill. Requiem's going to be, though. See you later, mate. Guardian shield. Oh, that's a cute idea. You're going to, though, as Catch not going to walk over the wall of pain. The Baron down very, very low. He's doing a lot of work in this fight. Almost gets himself in range, but Seas is able to lock that one down. The J4 is going to follow as Light looking for some autos. Grey Health going to be utilized as there's the Merc Scimitar that you're looking for, Papa Smithy. Seas knows that he's dead. He wants to take someone down with him. 800 gold. Going Papa, to the... We haven't had these for ages. Been Let's so watch the replay ones. here. <laughs> he needs to take the land. Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Gets one, gets two, gets three autos on the control room. In cannon form. And he dies. Yeah, he deserved it. No, I get it. I know, that's what I mean. He deserved that one. Probably too. an inopportune decision to make. If you want to auto attack the control room. You know what was pretty inopportune? With no vision of the enemy team, they should look good. He has sharks, a lot of desperation. But not a lot of action as Grace gets an Electrocute proc to get the win. Light also going to be going down here as the ultimate's in. Linderung, remember, that ult doesn't do a lot of damage, but it still looks like it does. As he does fall, but the sacrifice is not going to be in vain. A 2-0 for Jin Air, and they'll meet KT in the winner's match on Thursday. It was um, a series, Atlas. It was a hell of a series between Jin Air and ES Sharks. I think ES Sharks must have been having some stage nerves because they were really, really poor today. That and was, if, yeah. And if we learned one thing, it's that ES Sharks definitely wouldn't beat G2. <laughs> Is that what we learned, Papa Smithy? Yes. Well, I mean, I think I learned a couple of other things as well. I, uh, I learned that Jin Air when given free reign, can look like a team that's pretty good at this game and look like they're having fun. I also learned that Karthus is meant to be a ganking jungler. I now think that there's no point in picking Elise. You know, you think Elise, fantastic, you know, from level two, level three. Nah, it's not about that. It's about Karthus, get that wall of pain, take it first. Level one ganker. There we go, that's the dream. What a silly day of League of Legends. <laughs> 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 Still